today's video we are going to discuss how we can use lambda expressions but before using lambda expressions effectively especially when returning them from functions it's essential to understand function types okay so functions in kotlin also have types just like integer or string you can also declare them explicitly to tell the compiler how the lambda behaves so kotlin can usually infer function types but sometimes you will need to specify them manually as well this is especially important when the compiler cannot determine the parameter or the return type or if you are storing a lambda in a variable or if you are returning a lambda from a function okay so lambda expression can be used in a number of ways so the first one it can be used as a parameter to pass to a different function as well so over here there is an example where i am taking a higher order function okay it accepts a function op as a parameter what actually is happening over here is the function operate is accepting a parameter that is op and this parameter is a lambda function okay therefore the operate becomes the higher order function okay op has the type integer because the lambda that takes two integer and is also returning an integer okay you can write it in this format as well you call operate 4 comma 5 by passing these values and you also pass a lambda function with it that is op okay inside the operate function the lambda is invoked as op by passing a and b where the value of a and b is 4 and 5 okay now on computing this it is simply giving the result that is 9 